Hey, that's a W. That's a W. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! It feels amazing because, I mean, we have a tight bond here and it just feels amazing, honestly. It feels good. We have a really special team here with really special people. Um, and we're just trying to keep the momentum rolling throughout the uh, whole season. Every person on this team is important and an important reason why we win. Uh, so I think we keep, we keep everybody healthy, we keep rolling. This game wrap is presented by R&D Custom Builders. You dream it, we build it. Proudly supporting area high school sports. And by the Jason Glass Group. Jason Glass Group is the top sales team within the premier real estate brokerage in the greater San Antonio area, Phyllis Browning Company. McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area high school sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. When the season started, the fake expert didn't think Jay and Sotomayor's meeting in the midseason would have much more other than trying to figure out who might stay alive in the playoffs and who would be out of it. Well, it turns out those fake experts were dead wrong. Well, unless you consider 9-0 a combined start between the two teams as being bad, but that's what Jay and Sotomayor are. And in fact, Jay, if they beat Sotomayor tonight, would not only be the 6-0, be the second time in school history that they've started 6-0 they started 9-0 and ended up in the second round of the playoffs. As for Sotomayor, nobody gave them much of a chance after they went 1-9 in their inaugural season under Juan Morales. They are 5-0, so you know, they got that wrong as well. 3-0 in district. They don't have the tiebreakers yet, even with a win tonight. But their defense has allowed only seven points through four games. Juan Morales, well known for his defense. In fact, it's the first time ever Juan Morales started 2-0 in a season. Let's head to Gustafson Stadium and check out all the action presented by R&D Custom Builders, Jason Glass Group, and Colton Ford West. There's Gary Gutierrez and Juan Morales before the contest. Morales was an assistant at Jay, the only other time they started 6-0 20 years ago. There's Jackson Gutierrez, number 8. Kind of reminds you of a, another number 8 from Jay. That, of course, Josh Reynolds of the Detroit Lions. Gutierrez is going to Navy, which loved the triple option, which would be a perfect fit for him. Time to get the pads on and find out what would happen. <laughs>
a good stop. Um, our linebackers, they read that perfectly. They timed the, the time to snap, everything. So uh, it was really big for us. And for us to get that score, it was, it was real big for us. Sotomayor tried a fourth down inside their own 30, a la the Chargers. It did not work. Meanwhile, the Mustangs ran a gate on a line of scrimmage play, and that worked. Jay with a big lead at halftime. Could they hold it? Back with more after this message from R&D Custom Builders. Jay dominated the middle two quarters and forced five turnovers as their defense shut down Sotomayor and their offense was the first to break through on the Wildcats. Jay 6-0 for the second time in school history and that's no bull. That's a Mustang. It starts with, you know, these guys behind me up front. Um, you know, I think we played a really physical game uh, and uh, physically wore down the defensive line to open up opportunities for, um, you know, Jack and uh, all the receivers outside. We don't watch a whole lot of film of the other team uh, during the week. We worry about ourselves, and uh, I think that's why we won the game. Our defense played their butts off and uh, got us the ball, uh, drive, in, drive in and drive out, and uh, we came up with points for them. It feels amazing because, I mean, we have a tight bond here, and it just feels amazing, honestly. It feels good. He inspires us. He, he's a he's a big timer, and he makes he lets a, uh, sets a good example and some, something for us to uh, look up to. If Jay beats Holmes next week, they would be 5-0 in district and almost assured of getting in as someone they've already defeated would have to pass them in the district standings even if the Mustangs lost out. As for Sotomayor, they are not out of the race, but their district schedule is backloaded in October. Reporting from San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie. What he said? 